In this lecture, we are going to discuss or design a Turing machine for the language l equal to a to the power n, b to the power n such that n greater than equal to 1. So, the components of our Turing machine, they are q, number of states, q0, q1, q2, q3 and q4, there are states here, a, b, it is our summation, input alphabets, a, b, x, y and this symbol that is blank, it is our tape alphabet, q4, it will be our final state and q0, it is our initial state and delta function is supposed to be written, which is the most important part, writing delta function, conventional rules. So before writing delta function, we build up a logic, how the strings which belongs to this language should be accepted. So this is our input tape. Suppose we are taking three ti uh, 4 times A and 4 times B as input. This string belongs to this language. We write this input, this string to the tape. In one cell, we write one symbol. Now, one important thing. We won't allow any blank symbol in between the inputs. Blank symbols, they can be on the right hand side, they can be on the left hand side, but not between any inputs. Okay. Now, we start from start state q0. We read the very first A. We replace this A by some symbol, for example, x. And we move looking for the first B encountered on the right hand side. By traveling one cell, one cell on the right hand side, ultimately, we reach here the very first B. We replace this B by Y and again come back to the left hand side looking for the very uh, looking for the a symbol which is just after this x we replace this a again by x and we move to the right hand side looking for the next b which is just after this y we replace this b by y again we come back to the left hand side thus by traveling back and forth this way, we match each A with a corresponding B and we replace all A's by X and all B's by Y. Finally, when all the symbols they were replaced, ultimately we will be in some particular state. Then if that state is our final state, we say our string is accepted, otherwise it is not. Okay. See, the last line is very important. Finally, when all the input symbols, when all the symbols A and B, they are replaced by X and Y, we will reach in a particular state for which no delta function is supposed to be defined. Then what we will do? We got stuck, that is we halt, Turing machine halts there. Then we see in what state we are halting. If that state is our final state, then only our string is accepted. Otherwise, if that state is other than the final state, the string is rejected. Okay. We apply this logic, we write this logic in the form of transition function. In the last lecture, we already seen how transition function for a Turing machine can be defined. Okay, so I think it will not be difficult for us to write the transition function here. So let's start with the transition function one by one. So these are the transition functions for our Turing machine. I number them one, two, three, four, like that. There are ten rules and by taking an example input, we execute them one by one. Suppose 
we are taking an a small a small example suppose a a b b okay otherwise it becomes very complex here in this very short piece of paper to write all the moves so here in state q0 we are getting one as input then which rule is applicable rule number one it says we are in state q0 and getting a as input then we are moving to state q1 we replace this a by x and we move one cell right so this a is replaced by x our new state is q1 and we move one cell right so we reach here now what should we do we are looking for b not a so we leave this a as it is and we move one cell right so which transition rule is applicable q1 on input a q1 on input a it is rule number two it says if we are in state q1 we are getting a as input then we are in state q1 the state is not changed a is replaced by a and we move one cell right so this a it is changed again by a and we move one cell right so we reach here okay see this a is unchanged although it is replaced by a it is unchanged now q1 on b which rule is applicable q1 on b rule number three it says we replace b by y we replace b by y and we move one cell left we also change our state from q1 to q2 so when we move one cell left it becomes we come here okay and our new state is q2 now q2 on a q2 on a which rule is applicable q2 on a rule number seven it says rule number seven says state remain unchanged q2 to q2 a is replaced by a so q2 on a rule number seven is applicable q2 on a it says state remains same we replace this a by a and we move one cell left so ultimately we came here q2 it becomes messy here but now q2 on x rule number four is applicable now it says we replace x by x x by x and we come to one cell right so we have one cell right here and this and new state is q0 okay now q0 and a rule number one it says we replace a by x and move one cell right so this a is replaced by x and you move one cell right so we come here our new state is q1 so q1 on y q1 on y which rule is applicable rule number five it says we replace y by y we move one cell right and the state remains same so ultimately we came here now q1 on b q1 on b rule number three is applicable it says we change our state from q1 to q2 we replace this b by y and move one cell left so one cell left so here so we are here and our new state is q2 now q2 on y q2 on y which rule is applicable q2 on y rule number six it says state remains same replace y by y and move left so we came here one symbol left 
state remains same q2 q2 on x q2 on x says rule number four it says we change our state from q2 to q0 so our new state is q0 we replace x by x and move one cell right so we are here our new state is q0 okay this is x is replaced by x and we move one cell right so we are ultimately here now q0 on y q0 on y which one rule number eight so this is first time rule number eight is applied okay q0 on y it says we change our state from q0 to q3 we replace y by y and move one cell right so ultimately we are here and our new state is q3 now from q3 to y q3 to y state remains q3 replace y by y and move one cell right now notice one thing if you move one cell right where we come we come to this blank symbol here it is blank symbol our new state is q3 okay now our next transition rule it is for q3 on getting blank so rule number 10 is applicable it says if we are in state q3 we are getting a blank as input then what we are doing we are moving to state q4 blank is replaced by blank and we move one cell right so ultimately we come one cell right here now our next transition rule should be q4 on input blank but is there any transition rule for q4 and blank is defined here no so our tearing machine get stuck here it holds then we see all the inputs they are consumed in which state we are now q4 is it our final state yes it is our final state then only we can say this string is accepted if our string is not in the form of a to the power n b to the power n okay suppose we are taking three times a and two times b ultimately otherwise we are stuck in non final state so we can say although strings they may be consumed maybe not sure but if you are stuck in such a state which is not defined as our final state so in that case our string is not accepted but in this case all the input symbols they are replaced a by x b by y and finally we are in state q4 which is designated as our final state that's why this string is accepted so this is all about our Turing machine which accept the language a to the power n b to the power n such that n greater than equal to 1 so go through this example carefully and we can apply the same logic for any number of a's and b's but i take a small example because there is less space okay thanks for watching this video thank you